When Sarah Palin was four months pregnant with her fifth child, she got life-changing news. Her baby had Down syndrome. Today, five-month-old Trig is one of more than 400,000 Americans living with Down syndrome, and the Palin's decision to have the baby has made her a role model to the parents of some 5,000 children born with the genetic disorder every year. While most Americans hadn't heard of Sarah Palin before she became John McCain's running mate, she was well known to many parents of children with Down syndrome. Governor Palin went through the same thing that we did, the same prenatal testing, the same prenatal screening. Advances in prenatal testing mean more and more expectant parents are finding out earlier. And for some, the reality is too grim to bear. 40% of babies with Down syndrome are going to be born with congenital heart disease. Every baby with Down syndrome has developmental disability, a small minority. Uh, grow up to be independent. Dr. Robert Marion is a geneticist who says the vast majority of women who receive a prenatal diagnosis terminate their pregnancies. That is such a personal decision and it, it shouldn't be colored by anything that the doctor says to them about the diagnosis. But that isn't always the case, according to Sharon Vopel of Basking Ridge, New Jersey. The doctor came in. I mean, I knew right away when she walked in. Sharon and her husband Jim were expecting twins when tests revealed one of them had Down syndrome. What did she recommend? Did she say what your options were? She said, um, you're early enough along in your pregnancy that you can terminate. In, in, in our case, since it's twins, the term she used was selective reduction. But Jim is Catholic, and while Sharon is not, like Governor Palin, they're both opposed to abortion. After telling her that we would not terminate, nothing else was discussed. No information, no resources, no help, no advice, no support. They gave Jim a business card for us to call a genetic counselor if we chose to, and they let us out a side door. We want to raise the Vopal's experience is a common occurrence, says Amy Allison, executive director of the Down Syndrome Guild of Greater Kansas City. What we have found historically is that physicians are giving biased information when they're presenting prenatal diagnosis. According to a 2005 survey of nearly 1,300 parents of children with Down Syndrome, a majority reported that doctors, quote, did not tell them about the positive potential of people with Down Syndrome. There's uh, meaningful, real jobs available for them. Some so advocacy groups like Allison's have embarked on a campaign to educate physicians and in turn expectant parents about the genetic disorder. When we say a baby with Down syndrome as opposed to a Down's baby, first of all, it's a matter of respect. Through a program called Changing Lives, parents of children with Down syndrome go directly to doctors and present their version of Down Syndrome 101, giving them advice on how to break the news. Please, if anything you take away today, make sure mom and dad are together. Families can walk out their doors feeling isolated and alone, or they can walk out feeling like they've got a support system. And often, the supporting cast steals the show. I want people to know about me that I am outstanding, outrageous, smart, and intelligent, and, and I know that I'm good looking. Here we go, girls. The Vopals had their twins over the summer. Now they hope, as the rest of the country learns more about Sarah Palin, Americans also learn more about Down syndrome. She made her choice, and we made our choice, and other people will make decisions that are, are best for them. Governor Palin has promised to be an advocate for families with special needs, but the McCain campaign has not indicated how or whether his administration would support additional federal funds for special education.